Hello champions, I hope that you are very, very well and welcome to today's video. Going to be a bit different than normal, just a little bit as you're going to see. It's a bit of a throwback video. Uh, the reason being someone posted it in the Discord group the other day and I was like, yeah, this, this video is really relevant now. Obviously, it's recorded uh, a while ago. Bitcoin was trading at $3,000. I mean, wow, here we are at 47,000. What, 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 what a few years it's been. But nevertheless, the story and the reasoning of the message that I'm going to send in the video is absolutely relevant now and 10 years into the future. Hopefully you can be inspired by this. Hopefully you can take motivation from this. And hopefully it just gives you that extra little bit of push, extra little bit of belief of what you can achieve when you put your mind to something, yeah, it's all about mindset, it's all about focus, it's all about achieving your goals, yeah, be proud of yourself, and I really hope via this, uh, maybe a bit of a reminder, it can give you that extra little bit of motivation to go out and absolutely crush it. I wish you all the best, I hope that you enjoy the video, and you'll have to let me know in the comments down below whether you enjoy this type of thing. Have a great day everybody, and enjoy. Cheers. Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to a bit of a different video than normal in that it is not going to be a trading technical analysis, but rather I am going to be expanding on a tweet that I made a few days ago and just going over steps in general in life that you need to be following to move forwards and move up. Um, because I know in life it's so easy to just be taking every day as it comes and moving sideways. So I really hope with this video I can give you some sort of motivation or inspiration to move forwards to make that goal, to make that decision, to move up, okay? Um, so that that's my goal with this video. And if I can help out at least one person, that is like mission complete. And that will make me so happy. Um, so I hope that you can learn from the mistakes that I have made in life um, and use that to, you know, not to make the same mistakes. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go. I really, really do honestly hope that it helps. Um, so I want to start off with just going through this tweet. Um, so I have made a few notes that I'm going to be going through, but it's very much spontaneous and I'm just going to be expanding upon them as it comes into my head. And this this type of video is normally nothing that I would share with the public and only with private clients that I have. Um, I've ever got, really gone through this, um, but I just had a calling and I wanted to just expand upon this freely to the public so a lot of people can hopefully benefit from it. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go into it. Um, and it was a, expanding upon this. Um, but what I wanted to actually say firstly is give a bit of a backstory about myself and just I started in life with nothing, okay? Everything that I have today, I have worked extremely hard for, okay? Extremely hard for. And it's important to realize that nothing in life is handed to you on a plate, okay? Everything, if you have a goal, you are going to have to work towards that goal. Really, really, you know, grind towards it, okay? Nothing in life is ever just going to be free and nothing is just going to be given to you, okay? You are going to have to really study, work, act, you know, Get, get towards that goal and you know this is something that I know in life you know from personal experience where I am now is not being easy to get to you know I've worked and studied daily hard um, and you know and I just want to actually expand upon this again by saying that's the, obviously uh, being a trader you know you can be well off through trading but I want to just say that money and happiness have not got a direct correlation okay i know some extremely rich people that are not happy the same as i've met you know very poor people that are very happy um you know when i was traveling around south america i met you know saw a lot of poverty but these kids you know these people were really really happy um and that's just another side story that i can go over another time but you know money and and money and happiness are not directly correlated in that fact um so you know if you have a goal in life then it doesn't necessarily have to be a monetary goal i'm gonna you know gonna talk about this a bit later but you know from myself you know i started off with with nothing um well i don't want to you know you know i didn't obviously start off in poverty and you know i wasn't you know i was a fortunate in life that i started off at an, very much an average level i didn't have my massive amounts of money or, or low amounts of money. It was very average. Uh, we never have anything special when I first started. You know, I was, it was just everything was normal. And that's why I appreciate money so much. Okay, for me, when I receive a $5 donation, when I receive a $1 donation or I find a, a pound on the street, I'm like blessed. I'm feeling so happy because I appreciate money. Um, and, you know, nothing... Some people, as they get rich, don't appreciate the little things in life. And for me, the little things in life are, you know, my happiness. Um... 
so yeah, I just wanted to expand upon this and these are some notes that I've made. Um, and, and decision number one is really that goal and positivity. And actually, I just want to uh, uh, say something more about, you know, why, why I appreciate a dollar so much is that um, in life and in general, actually, this is not to do with money, but in general, you can learn as an individual. Every individual is special, okay? Nobody is better than somebody else. Too many people think that money equals um, success in terms of that person is better than me. Whereas I think, and I really think that this is a, 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 a thought that everybody should share, that everybody is equal. Nobody in life is better than somebody else. Do not put somebody else on a pedestal. They are still a human. They, we are all one in this world, okay? When I see somebody, for example, at rock bottom on the, at their life at that moment in time, for, for example, living on the streets, I still have utmost respect for that person. I will speak to that person. I will, you know, help them out the best that I can, buying them, you know, a bit of food, for example, and just have a conversation because I know that every individual can learn from another person, okay? Okay? So when I speak to this person, I know that I can actually learn something from him because we are equal and every single person can learn from another one. Okay, So everybody you meet in life, you should try and spark up conversations because you can learn something from them as as well as they can learn something from you. Um, so obviously when I go through my daily you know, videos, my goal is to help people out to get that financial freedom through trading. And the comments that I receive of people saying like, Daniel, you've changed my life through giving me lessons of technical analysis. That for me is like, wow. Wow. But I know for a fact that I could learn something from them at the same time. Um, just going back to like everybody's equal. Everybody learns from somebody else. Um, and that's a key um, moral, I guess, to live in life that, you know, everybody is at that same stage. Uh, nobody is better and nobody is worse than anybody else. So please just keep that in mind and always be respectful to another person that you meet. You, you know, don't don't get into a mindset as you get that monetary but as you as you start gaining more money then just keep in mind that this money is not making you better than anybody else um, and that's an important moral I think to live by um but yeah what I wanted to go over here is so grind in your 20s build in your 30s chill in your 40s motivation is what gets you started habit is what keeps you going if you want to be a millionaire then act like one study like one and work like one okay what i mean by this is referring now back to this that i i, I haven't labeled this in one two three four etc but you know it's all kind of a, as one that to start off, you have to make an active decision of what you want in life, okay? So eight years ago, when I made that active decision to get into trading, this was not just... I just thought, oh, I like the look of charts. So I want to just get into this. You know, I made an active decision and an active goal that I wanted personally financial freedom. And I knew that trading had the possibility if you are a good, you know, this isn't going to be a, a specific trading video, but, you know, looking at risk management, if you've got this psychology, if you've got, you know, all of these other steps that make a good trader, then, you know, financial freedom through trading is definitely possible, as you can see from me. But, you know, this video is not going to be focused on trading, but just in general. Um, but you know, when you you know you, every every time you start off with something, you have to make an active decision that you know you are going to be working towards every single day. Okay, so give yourself a goal. I guess number step number one, give yourself firstly a goal, and then actively make that decision to work towards that goal every day. Okay, so what I say here is days are based on overall goals, and what I mean by that is your days are based on the weeks, which are based on your months, which are based on your years, which are based on your overall goal. Okay, so right. Right now matters. You may have heard this before that right now you can be working towards that goal. Right now is not a time where you can be moving sideways. Right now is where you can be moving up. Okay? Just think about that and just use that time effectively. Okay? And, you know, right now matters. Say another one that I have here is say no to good and say yes to great. You know, you're going to have on a daily, on a daily, you know, daily life, you're going to be faced with decisions that you have to make. Don't make, you know, obviously everybody's going to make bad decisions in your life, but learn from decisions that you make and you're, you're going to start seeing in life that are you going to keep saying yes to doing these things? Um, and I'm not going to go into specifics here at all, but, um, you know, just think, of, think about yourself because of how, you know, it's really, you know, really general. I don't know the right word here, but you know it's it's going to be specific to each person. But you're you're going to know when that time comes that there are going to be times where it's got, somebody's going to ask you to do something, and you will know from your heart whether that is the what is right for you or whether that's wrong for you. And you can only get happiness if it is, feels right in your heart. Okay, and this is what I mean by goals 
can be it does not have to be about money yes you can have the monetary goal but a goal can be you know just happiness creating a nice good happy family that is a brilliant goal okay another goal just leaving the world a better place which for me is the top uh, if you can leave a footprint on that sand if you can leave a blueprint for somebody else to learn and follow from and just leave something in your place that is going to make the world a better place then wow that is the most powerful thing and honestly for me you know seeing that I've positively impacted somebody else's life is way better than a monetary gain okay monetary value and that feeling of wow I've really positively helped somebody out and managed to change someone else's life when you read that or when somebody tells you that honestly it's going to be like blow you away and be feel way better than winning you know you're getting lots of money I, I guarantee that for a fact um you know it's just absolutely amazing so if your goal is just to leave something you know make so you make this world a better place and that is a really strong goal to have but again you are going to have to work from that you can't just say i want to make the world a better place that's not going to make the world a better place you have to work for making the world a better place okay and it all stems back to you know going back to this that act like one study like one work like one okay um, so yeah, basically that, that 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 was kind of like step number one that you have to make an actual decision of why say you said why are you making this goal you know when I started off trading I just wanted to you know for me personally get that financial freedom you know in my family we had never had anything you know we'd never been able to afford anything decent in life it was just you know we were very much stale moving forward so I made that active decision that I wanted to be the person in my family to go and grab something okay I wanted to move forwards and move up um, not because financial freedom gives happiness but financial freedom can give you the choice to do what you want okay that financial freedom is not going to give you happiness but it will in turn be able to you will have the time to do what you want in life to do what makes you happy basically financial freedom equals a choice it gives you the freedom to make choices that you want to do in life okay nobody really wants to work for another man you want to be able to to be free financially free to do what you enjoy in life be if that is going climbing a mountain you could i don't know just think for yourself like what makes you happy in life do what you want to pursue in life be that just painting you know you can turn that painting into monetary value but um you know at the end of the day the financial freedom is there so then you are free financially to do what you love in life okay and trading it for me was that step that I knew that I needed to take I needed to master this I needed to study hard because I saw that through this I can get financial freedom and you know that's not an easy step that's not an easy step you know I've put in hours upon hours upon hours like hundreds thousands of hours into studying um, and now you know I've reached a point where I'm, I'm I can never be at the top okay that's why I continue to study every Every single day if you don't know I'm doing a open university course so it's basically a degree that you do in your spare time I'm doing that in Spanish and English uh, and once I finish this degree I'm gonna start off an, another degree most likely in finance um, and then once I finish that degree I'm gonna do another degree and for me I'm always learning I'm always studying I know that you can never reach the top and I love to keep my brain active and that's why I'm gonna keep doing these degrees not just though I can say I have a degree but because I want to keep learning and I want to keep moving forwards in life okay for me studying is really important um but you know when i started off on technical analysis you know i put in so many hours i lost originally when i started technical analysis i lost a lot of money um but i'm grateful from losing that money because it made me realize what i was doing wrong and i've definitely learned from those mistakes uh in terms of technicals um but you know everything you know it happens in life for a reason nothing is just going to happen everything happens for a reason and then you have to realize that reason and you know grab that reason and move forward and learn from it okay so yeah that num step number one was basically the decision and goals okay positivity I'm going to expand on a little bit more later um, but positivity again is, is really important um, so yeah that moves on to number two uh, this tweet that I put out a few days ago uh, yesterday I think I oh, know the fourth about a week ago um, and that was be grateful for what you already have while you pursue your goals if you aren't grateful for what you already have what makes you think you will be happy with more okay and this stems um, j just ironically I had a, a, a reply then and I don't want to call this person out you, you know everybody you know you have to realize this at, at the point in time of your life but you know it's hard for you to be grateful grateful when you've it's hard to be grateful when you've lost everything you've never lost everything huh and you know 
this is not what you should be thinking like and um, you know you have to be grateful for what you have in life you know I have actually lost a lot in life and um, you know where I am now is not been easy to get to I've lost in life so don't try and think that I haven't lost um, I have um, but that isn't what you should be thinking about here you should be thinking about you have a roof over your head. You have the mobile to watch this video, to respond to my tweets. You have water. You have food. Okay, this is what you need in life. And if you aren't grateful for the basic things like this in life, what makes you think that as you gain, as you move forwards and as you move up and as you gain more money, what makes you think you're suddenly going to turn happy? Okay, you're not going to be. If you can't appreciate what you have now, you're not going to appreciate what you can have in the future. OK, and that's an important thing to get to, you know, into your head that I see so many people um, after after items of, you know, clothing, or cars, bigger house. They always want something more and something bigger. Um, you know, for instance, I have just a, 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 you know, a normal house, a normal car. I'm not striving towards, you know, these items that are going to bring nothing to you. A new Lamborghini is not going to bring you happiness. It can bring temporary happiness. I'm sure when you buy that car, you'll be happy for about a week, a month, maybe. And then after a while, it's going to die off. That happiness is going to die off and you'll want to buy the next new car. You know, you go from a Lamborghini to that McLaren to the next supercar you know and there's always something more you can be buying and this is why you know these items are not going to be giving you happiness you want to strive you're more than an item you're more than a product okay you know there's always all this consumerism around people that you know there's always something to buy always something to sell there's always something that's going to be giving you happiness and that's not what you should be following in life I'm a very minimalistic person okay I don't require a you know a really really fancy car I don't require Required at Lambo to make me happy because I know if you buy it, it's going to make you happy for a certain amount of time and then you'll want something more. The same goes with clothing. And this is something that I learned for myself that, you know, I spent, you know, lots of money on things like this, but, you know, you buy something, be it an item of clothing, be it, you know, be it a, a Rolex, be it a, a, a ring, you know, whatever that is, after a while, it's going to be, you know, lose its special effect and you're going to be wanting to buy something else to replace it. And this is a never ending cycle. There's always something more to buy. There's always somebody selling you a product. You are not a product. You are more than that. And you can find happiness without, you know, requiring this. Um, and yeah, this is just me speaking, you know, randomly. I, I do hope that this is being beneficial for you all. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to say here is, you know, everything you, that you need is, um, you know, basically, you know, you have those basic necessities in life and, and please appreciate those. And I, I, I kind of this, but saying like, instead of viewing that glass as half empty or half full, just be grateful you have that glass. <laughs> um, so people say, you know, are you a pessimist or an optimist? You know, is that glass half empty or half full? I say, be grateful that you have a glass of half full or full water in the first place. And that's more than a lot of people can say in life. So, you know, you should be grateful for just having that that, that opportunity and, you know, that that that's powerful in itself. OK, so when you are happy, others are, you notice that happiness, too. And this is the next part that I wanted to move on to was just happiness in general, that when you are happy, that happiness expands. You know, I'm such a positive person. And in life, I love to only surround myself with positive vibes. If I see a negative vibe, then I disassociate myself with that. OK, that's why you would not find myself, you know, really responding you know I get trolls I get people trying to wind me up online and things like this and in life in general as well I only surround myself with positive vibes positive friends you know I, I strive for having that positivity because I know that as well that if I am happy that positivity that I generate is going to have an effect on somebody else. And if I can be happy and that if I'm going through life smiling and somebody else sees my smile and they smile too, well, then then we can have that smiling connection and we can have, you know, that positive and that happiness to like talk to each other, expand, learn from each other, just strike that conversation. And through online, you know, if I can be happy and positive and smiling and that can also make somebody positive, happily and smile, then that is a, you know, that's a good thing that then in increases that positivity that increases just our minds in general you want you can't be going back to what I wrote here you cannot be a millionaire or you, I don't want to refer to it as millionaire but you, you can't be happy in life if you're not positive no I, I guess the two go hand in hand that positivity and happiness you know go really hand in hand you, if you're if you're positive then you should be happy I, I believe um, and if you you know you can't go through life 
being unhappy and reaching your goals you have to be happy that you're moving forwards and studying and and move you know moving on every single day and what i mean i think i can't remember even if i covered this now but right now matters okay going back to what i said earlier i think i just flew flew past this i'm going to quickly say it now but right now matters and if i said it before i apologize but it's really important that what you are doing right now is going to affect what you are doing you know tomorrow and right now is going to be you know a snowballing effect use what you are doing right now make you know use this time effectively and you know use this time to move forwards with your goals okay the everything stems back to that goals and what you're working towards you know in life right now i have so much going on um you know i have going on I'm obviously making my new website. I'm, I'm doing coaching for people. I've got one-to-one coaching. I've got lessons going on. I'm, I'm trying to start up this workshop. I'm getting, you know, I've got my fiance. We're trying to plan a wedding. We've got, you know, personally in my life, I'm doing obviously trading every single day. I'm still, you know, I'm still doing my open uni course. I'm still learning about the markets, you know, everything. I've got so much going on. But at the end of the day, I know that Everything that I'm doing is working towards that one important goal that I have. And everything that I'm, you know, all of these little mini steps that I'm taking in life, all are towards one overall goal that I have. Okay. And that's important that everything that I'm doing is working towards that one goal. Um, and that's what you should be doing too. Um, and then moving on to this next point that if you want to level up or if you want to move forwards, then environment is everything. Okay. So environment is that positivity that you surround yourself with. Um, you know, and this is what I mean that here is if you think about it, think of a plant or think of a seed that is put into a plant pot and with surrounded by soil. If that soil is bad, if it doesn't have the nutrients and uh, that, that plant is going to maybe grow a tiny little amount. Okay. It's not really going to succeed or grow to its full potential but if you get that seed and you put it in a plant pot and you surround it with the nutrients and good soil that it needs that plant will reach its full potential and it will grow and this is kind of a metaphor for life and and surrounding yourself with positivity the same as if that plant is surrounded by good nutrients and good soil then it's going to grow the same in life if you surround yourself with positivity and like-minded individuals then you yourself are going to grow if you put yourself in that environment um, that promotes growth then you will also grow yourself okay and recently you know I have recently got a mentor that is helping me you know say to you know just pointing me in the right direction sometimes I, I, I can you know in life it's normal to get distracted on things and to just to be able to Although they're the same, yeah, I am paying this guy a hell of a lot of money, but, um, you know, it's for me, it's needed and it's kind of investing in myself. Although I'm paying this mentor, uh, he's able to direct me on the Reed's right paths and say, no, this is a bad decision, Daniel. You know, you need to be staying on this goal and would this positively affect others, others lives, you know, and it's it just bringing me down and like helping me move forwards and really keeping me on track and a mentor is like really really you know one of the best decisions that I made of just being able to refer to firstly somebody that knows what he's on about and secondly just keeping me on path keeping me on you know what I should be doing and that is basically investing in yourself in in whatever you invest in in life it should be rather than spending you know as I say here stop spending money on dumb stuff okay use that to invest in yourself um so you know you want to use money to invest in yourself be that a mentor be that a course be that you know just a book but you want to use money effectively okay um and this is what i mean by stop spending money on dumb stuff refers to that lamborghini okay instead of when you make your first million instead of going out and buying a lamborghini for 250 grand use that 250 grand on a property because guess what millionaires are not millionaires can be made overnight and they can also be lost overnight you can make a million overnight and then you lose your million overnight by using that money ineffectively okay what you want to do is actually create more more streams of income okay the more streams of income and revenue you have the more financially free you can be okay and that's something that is obviously very you know generalized that it's hard to get that initial stream of income but once you've got this income and you've managed to save up over time um, then that that can is where you have to be looking towards new streams of income and and you know housing in general is a really good um, you know for me personally it's like one of the best ways because you are although you may have to pay someone to manage it for you you're the, going to be taking the biggest percentage of that rent every month and rent from housing is something that's guaranteed to be coming in every single month okay if you have a bad month of training that trading then you still have you know monetary money to fall back on from you know in the house rent um, you know and 
you know this is obviously a high step to get to but you want to always be trying to get more streams of income and the more different streams that you can have you know the more financially free and 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 calm you can be just knowing that you know if something one week doesn't work out then you know you have something else to fall back on um, and you, you'll notice that millionaires, uh, billionaires, they have several streams of income. It's not just one. OK, they will. You will see this. They, they have lots of different streams coming in. OK, um, and it's not about how much you make, but how much you keep. OK, and this for me is a really important quote. So it's not about how much you make, but how much you keep. OK, so do not waste your money on these dumb things in life. Um, or if you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not dis, you know, I, I obviously respect everyone. And if somebody wants to go out and buy a Lamborghini, then that's absolutely fine. Um, you know, I enjoy going out in my friend's cars. You know, it's, it's fun. Um, but, you know, that you have to originally, firstly, just make that decision of why are you buying that? Is it to impress somebody else? Or are you a car fanatic, for example? I'm not a car fanatic. Um, well, I am a little bit, but... Um, you know, I don't really need this in my life to impress anybody else. Uh, too many people in life buy things to impress others. And that's not how you should be looking in life, not how you should be living. Live life to impress yourself. Make yourself happy. Make your friends and family happy. Don't try and impress strangers on the street. That's not how you should be living your life or not how I personally think you that I would live my life. OK. Um, so yeah, that goes through the tips that I think that I wanted to go through. If I think of something else, I'll probably edit the video and add something on. But I think that's everything that I wanted to cover. Um, and the last point that I wanted to go through is you are here in 2019. And this is going a little bit back to trading. But um, we are in the cryptocurrency market. This cryptocurrency market is going to change the world. I know, you know, I, I'm so certain that this cryptocurrency space is going to be massive. Um, and this is, you know, looking at, we know we're looking at, crypto we're looking at trading in general cryptocurrency is going to be massive i don't think people understand the opportunity that we have right here we are early investors um this is a brilliant brilliant time to be looking into crypto and you know and not financial advice this is a not a financial advice video uh, anything that i've gone through just my opinions on life and education but you know this could drop but at the grand scheme of things we're at a very you know rounded bottom and that you know this is this space is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger okay and cryptocurrency we are blessed to be able to have this technology this technology is going to change the world you're going to see this technology used more and more and more um, and you know i'm really a big firm believer that that we are are very fortunate to be where we are in 2019 what a blessing we have seen this cryptocurrency market is going to change the world you are going to change the world by being an early adopter um so yeah, I'm that's going to be wrapping up the video, ending with a little bit of you know motivation about technical analysis. Um, you know this video was not trying to sell you anything, so I'm not trying to sell you anything that I own or anything like this. Uh, basically, I just wanted to use this video to hopefully give you a bit of motivation to keep you on track. Referring back to what I said at the start of the video, I'm just going to load it up one more time. That it's you know act like a millionaire, study like one, work like one. Okay keep moving forwards in life. Do not let yourself move sideways. Do not let yourself just move forwards. Do not let yourself just be going through life. You know, get yourself that goal, work towards that goal and you will be extremely happy. And again, this is not a, in, this is not a video that's been trying to um, say, I know a lot of people find that people that talk about money are sort of uh, assholes, I guess, or, you know, um, Money is kind. Of, money and sex are like taboo subjects that people don't like to talk about. But I just felt a calling to make this video, and it's not been a video to try and show off at all. I hope you haven't taken it like that. Uh, it's uh, hopefully you've been able to use this as motivation, or at least understand the steps some of the steps that I went through in life that were needed to move forwards and this was just to give a little bit of a recap these steps were firstly making a plan making an active decision once you've made that active decision of what you want to do again this can be anything in life even if it's just making others happy um, it's going to be you're going to have to make that active decision and then you're going to have to make goals structured goals that you can work towards okay so make a decision make some goals and then once you've got those goals act on those goals okay act on those goals or study for those goals okay again nothing is going to just be given to you you are going to have to work extremely hard you don't understand the amount of hours and blood and sweat and tears that i have put into like getting to where i am now it was not easy at all okay but it was needed it was needed those hours and work and sweat and everything was needed to get where i am now and again i am where i am now through my own hard work and I am not you know I've always still want to be moving up okay you can never reach the top of wherever you are 
and the gain and if you want to use this if you are right at, at the moment currently at the bottom then all I would say is you know surround yourself firstly by positive energy you know surround yourself by like-minded individuals get yourself a mentor get yourself somebody that can help you out knows what they're doing and can give you good advice uh, in life okay that's the first step that you're going to need is you know getting yourself in that environment okay that environment that promotes growth that is the first you know step that once you've met this you're going to need to get yourself in that environment and in that mindset that's you know and somebody that can keep you following your goals it's it's easy in life to get lazy but you do not want lazy millionaires are not lazy billionaires are not lazy successful people are not lazy we are very goal orientated and we are very motivated okay every day is a new opportunity okay i view every day as a blessing i you know i'm very happy to be where i am right now very blessed very fortunate and i realize that and i'm never gonna get to a point where i'm you know not happy where i am you know i'm I, even if i lost everything tomorrow i would still be happy with where i am um, so yeah, I'm going to be wrapping up this now. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you have. You know, if you have, please share it and leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I will catch you all in the uh, next one. Thank you everybody so much and catch you all soon. Cheers. <laughs>